Good evening. 6 p.m. news headlines today. Russian President Vladimir Putin has publicly approved the evacuation of civilians from parts of Russian-occupied Kherson in southern Ukraine. Kiev's forces have been steadily advancing on the strategic port city. Mr. Putin said people living in dangerous areas should leave as the civilian population should not suffer. Reports BBC. Twitter's new owner Elon Musk has defended sacking about 50% of the company's workforce of 7,500, saying he had no choice as Twitter was losing more than $4 million a day. Twitter fires majority of employees in India too, that is over 200 employees. The whole marketing and communications department in India has been sacked. Reports BBC, NDTV and The Statesman. In the Morbai bridge collapse, Oriva spent only 12 lakh rupees of allotted 2 crore rupees on renovation. Reports The Times of India. Tamil Nadu police seized pen drive with IS clips from another suspect. The seized pen drive had around 100 videos, including around 40 of Sri Lankan suicide bomber Zarand bin Hashim, 15 of Zakir Naik of Islamic Research Foundation, and at least 15 videos of murders carried out by IS. Reports the Times of India. In Himachal Pradesh election manifesto, the Congress promised to sanction one lakh government jobs in the first cabinet meeting itself, offer 300 units of free electricity, 1,500 Indian rupees a month for women between 18 to 60 years of age and a subsidy on the purchase of four cows per household, if voted to power. Reports the Indian Express and the Hindu. The University Grants Commission, UGC on Friday announced a new, reframed and modified draft of deemed to be universities' regulations 2022 to align with the broader policies of higher education as contained in the National Education Policy, NEP, 2020. Reports the New Indian Express. The Rashtriya Swayamsevak San, RSS, on Saturday said it has decided to appeal the Madras High Court verdict and will not be holding the route march as planned across the state on November 6. The court's ruling said the march could only be held indoors or within a compound, and this would not work, RSS, South Zone President Art Vanni Arjan said. Reports the Hindu. Canada-based gangster Lakhbir Singh Landa has taken the responsibility for the broad daylight murder of the Hindu Shiv Sena leader Sudhir Suri. Meanwhile, the situation in Amritsar remained peaceful. Reports the Tribune. Primary schools in Delhi would be closed from Saturday as air quality worsens, Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal said on Friday during a press briefing. For secondary school students, outdoor activities would be restricted. This comes a day after schools in the neighboring city of Noida were told to hold online classes till November 8. As air pollution worsens in Delhi NCR, a new study has warned that long-term exposure to air pollution may increase kidney disease risk. Reports the Hindustan Times and Business Standard. Thank you.